For the last time, there's nothing after us, and there's nothing magical happening here. Remember how we all got hooked on Avatar, The Last Airbender? The amazing anime from 18 years ago? Well, hold on to your seats because Netflix is bringing our favorite anime back to life with a brand new live action series. Now, I know some of you still remember the 2010 live action attempt by M. Night Shyamalan that didn't quite hit the mark. He will need you. But this time, Things are looking way different because we're talking about the top-notch costumes, spot-on casting, and CGI that's so good it looks like you're watching bending coming to life right before your eyes. And if you watch this exclusive video until the end, you will know all the hottest and newest details about the cast on how they landed their roles, the release date, the reaction of the fans, and a lot more. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. So keep watching Avatar, The Last Airbender, auditions, and how the cast landed their roles. What's new in Netflix's Avatar's live action? The original creators of the awesome Nickelodeon show, Michael DiMartino and Brian Konietzko, were supposed to be part of this Netflix project. And they were totally on board at first. But in 2020, they decided to leave the project due to some disagreements over creative differences with the studio. Both DiMortino and Konietzko shared their thoughts on leaving the project. On his blog, DiMortino said, Netflix's live-action adaptation of Avatar has the potential to be good. It might turn out to be a show many of you end up enjoying. He continued, But what I can be certain about is that whatever version ends up on screen, it will not be what Brian and I had envisioned or intended to make. He mentioned that leaving was about keeping their happiness and creative integrity. He added, I realized I couldn't control the creative direction of the series, but I could control how I responded. So, I chose to leave the project. Konietzko also shared his side on Instagram, saying, When Netflix brought me on board to run this series alongside Mike two years ago, they made a very public promise to support our vision. Unfortunately, there was no follow-through on that promise. The general handling of the project created what I felt was a negative and unsupportive environment. Now, Netflix responded, saying, we have complete respect and admiration for Michael and Brian and the story that they created in the Avatar animated series. Although they have chosen to depart the live-action project, we are confident in the creative team and their adaptation. So, what does this mean for the live-action series? Well, without the original creators, there might be some twists and turns that are different from the animated series. We're not sure exactly what changes we'll see, but if we look at how Netflix handled the live-action One Piece series, we can expect some minor differences for sure. Cast of Avatar – The Last Airbender First, of course, we have Aang, played by Gordon Cormier, the 14-year-old Filipino-Canadian actor. He will be the Avatar who's a master of all four elements and the hero destined to defeat the Fire Lord. After chilling for a century on ice, Aang's ready to master every type of bending. And Gordon's journey is just as epic because he's already practicing with a staff, Aang's favorite weapon that doubles as a glider. But before landing this dream role, Gordon was in Team Zenko Go! and Christmas Under the Stars. He also lent his voice to a character in Team Zenko Go! and appeared in The Stand as Joe. Next is Gio and Dio, Tarbell as Katara, Aang's best friend in love interest and one of the coolest waterbenders around. As Aang learns to bend all elements, Katara becomes a master waterbender. Gyo Wendio has already shown her acting chops in the Netflix series Anne with an E and Rutherford Falls as Maya Thomas and in the award-winning film Beans. And here's Ian Owsley as Sokka, the hilarious non-bender in the group, known for his boomerang skills and being a brilliant strategist. So let's wait to see how he will bring Sokka's iconic boomerang into action. Even though this is his first big role, his acting career started with parts in Young Sheldon and 13 Reasons Why as Robbie Corman. And when it comes to Zuko, our troubled but beloved prince, Dallas Leo is stepping into his shoes. He's ready to take on the challenge of catching the Avatar. And we can already tell Leo and Cormier are going to nail this rivalry. This actor talks about how he auditioned saying, I got involved with Netflix's Avatar project the same way everyone else did. I had the Zoom auditions and, after a couple of weeks, I found out I had booked the project. Although it is really nerve-wracking because there is that huge fandom, and especially for Zuko's who has one of the greatest, you know, character development. 
But before stepping into the role of the Scarred Prince, Dallas Leo kicked off his career as the young Jin Kazama in Tekken Back in 2009. More recently, if you're a Marvel fan, he appeared in the movie Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, playing Ri Hua Chen, and made us laugh in the comedy series Pen15. Now, for the wise and lovable General Iroh, we've got Paul Sun Hyung Lee. He is bringing a wealth of experience to play Zuko's mentor in Moral Compass. You might remember Lee from the most notable role of Randy Ko in Train 48. Also, he ventured into the galaxy of Star Wars as Captain Carson Teva in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. As we can see here, Netflix picked actors who truly embody the characters, making the series feel authentic and respectful to the original. And this spot-on casting is a huge win, making the show more immersive for all of us who've been fans for years. This means that Netflix is serious about respecting the source material and creating an experience that's both authentic and epic. Also, it's giving major fun and adventurous vibes, just like the original series that got us all hyped up, which the first live-action adaptation of ATLA failed to deliver. Why the Avatar The Last Airbender live-action movie failed 13 years ago Back when Shyamalan tried to bring Avatar to life with The Last Airbender movie in 2010, it didn't hit the mark because fans were quick to point out the issues. Unfortunately, the trailer itself seemed dull, the casting didn't feel right, and the movie missed out on the show's signature humor and adventure. Avatar is loved for its humor, its well-written characters, many of whom are of Asian descent, and its jaw-dropping martial arts sequences. But the last Airbender movie, it barely cracked a smile, and the bending scenes were a letdown. Not to mention, the lack of Asian actors was a big problem for fans, and it's no wonder the movie didn't get a sequel. Now, Netflix is taking a shot at bringing this beloved world to life, and you won't believe how amazing it looks. So keep watching because, from the looks of the trailer, the Avatar The Last Airbender adaptation we deserved 13 years ago arrives. In February 2024, Aang and his squad will hit the screens to battle the ruthless Fire Nation. And it seems like Netflix has learned from those mistakes as they're aiming to deliver an unforgettable experience through the new trailers that give us glimpses of the characters that are full of awesome Asian actors, mind-blowing martial arts, and special effects that'll make your jaw drop. And oh man, Netflix totally nailed it! And now, the two trailers for Netflix's The Last Airbender are starting to change minds because it has been receiving a positive reaction from many fans, and they've started to believe they're on the right track. Just like this diehard fan who makes a heartful plea saying, I've never watched a trailer so many times. Please don't mess this up. This is the best animated series of all time to me, and it would mean so much to the fans if it's done justice. If this new Avatar series hits it big, we're looking at three seasons mirroring the original series. And think about this, if they can successfully bring Aang and the gang to life, why not a live-action legend of Korra in the future? Sure, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves based on just two trailers, but it's hard not to get excited just like this fan screaming, I'm cautiously optimistic, I just don't want to get burned again, I'm excited for this. The original show gave us a brilliant blueprint of its great storytelling, characters, and themes, and from what we've seen so far, Netflix seems to be on the right path to deliver an adaptation that lives up to our expectations. Lastly, a fan shared her thoughts about this series, saying, This already looks 10 times better than the last live action. Yeah, we're holding our breath, hoping this won't be another Shyamalan repeat. 